Caulfield Repatriation Hospital, Melbourne, has its own bowling green and its own bowls club. 21 men, all blind. But under the leadership of Wally Nawatna, an ex-serviceman who still has his sight, they've beaten many regular bowls teams, using only their senses of touch, balance, direction and control. The blinded bowlers get direction from the mat on the ground, and their skipper tells them whether the green is fast or slow. There goes Kitty, and the game is on. Each bowler lines his feet with the edge of the mat, then alters his stance to give a general sense of direction following the skipper's instructions as to where to put the bowl. We said they were good. These men use no whistles or bells to give direction, ask no concessions or artificial aids in matches with regular teams. By the look of that, they don't need them. The skipper tells them how each bowl lies, and though they can't see it, they can appreciate a good shot. The skipper has advised him where his bowl should go. With his fingers, he works out the direction. No wonder these men have beaten rivals in competition play. Soon they'll meet a team of blinded Sydney bowlers, an interstate championship between men who love a game they can't see. Aiding each other, they walk to check the score and to begin another end. Some of Australia's gamest sportsmen, playing for the sheer love of the game, playing in a world of darkness.